Oh, hello there. I'm Professor Esther Hester, and this is my nephew, Lester. Oh, hi, everyone. Today, we're going to learn about force and motion. Force just means a push or a pull. I can use a small force and gently pull Lester toward me. You see? He moves kind of slowly. Or I can use a large force and give him a big push so he moves away from me. Whoa! Force causes Lester to move. That's what we scientists call motion. Of course, the motion stopped when Lester ran into the wall. I guess that would be a force, too. Maybe next time, you can use the air hockey table to show force in motion instead of me. Great idea, Lester. Which means it's time for another Professor Hester tester. The puck is not moving. And it's not going to move unless a force pushes it or pulls it into motion. See these tiny holes? When I turn on the table, air blows out of all these holes. That air lifts the puck a little bit off the table so that it's kind of floating. Now when I hit it, the puck isn't rubbing against the table, so it moves easily. And it will keep moving in the same direction until another force causes it to stop or change direction. Goal! Woo! Nice shot, Lester. Now let's explore the force of gravity. Here, put on these special video goggles I invented. <laughs> now take the Earth, for example. It's a very heavy object, so it pulls things toward it and holds them down on the ground. If there were no gravity, then everything on Earth would fly up into space. Yikes! Now the force of gravity is pulling everything back down to the ground again. 